Hello and welcome, Polar here, and this is Defiance, a newly released MMO by Tryon Worlds. Now, um, I want to show you a little bit of this, and I don't really know where to start. There's a bunch of reviews already out there, which are going to be far better than this, but I just want to show you... I'm just going to show you the combat in this game for the moment. And uh, I'm going to start by taking out these guys. This is a third-person MMO. And as far as a third person MMO goes, the control, the controls for it are very, very tight. I like them. Tryon did a fantastic job with this. This guy's not doing it. There we go. Now, those numbers that are popping up with the damage, the yellow ones are the critical damage. Now, you can turn that off, but I just like to see how much damage I'm doing. Very satisfying to see big numbers pop up above someone's head when you hit them in the head or you snipe them or... This is the little SMG I've got. So I've switched to my sniper rifle. So this is similar to Guild Wars 2 whereas you only have two weapons now. Everyone's saying this is due to consoles because this game is also released on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Um, I don't really like that because if they do that, it means they have to make, they have to cut back on stuff for it to work on consoles. Like, biggest example is the god awful menu system. Like, this isn't too bad. You got all the buttons up here. That would be fine with me, but these are just f options for your character. If I want to open up anything else, I have to hold down space to get this menu up, this wheel, which would obviously work on a console pretty easily, but. And I've got my map, my intel, you know, all, all the other things here. Now that doesn't sound like much, but to be honest, it takes some getting used to to hold down space to open up the menu system, because I mean, what games do that? It's the same with, if you look in the bottom left, there's the quick menu. It's the same as this, I have to hit control, it brings up this menu, and to be honest, if you have control as your menu button, that's pretty bad, because most people have controllers uh, crouch or crouch is normally C, it's one or the other, it's preference, but that's the most common choice. Now, you accidentally hit that in combat, you're stuck, and basically the way this works is you can go into matchmaking or you can find friends or people nearby you, inspect them, group invite them and so on. It's just a, a really horrible system, but I suppose it's made for on the go, but I don't know. It's I'm not a fan of it to be honest. Anyway, right now we've got a little random event here. I'm gonna quickly. Oh yes, I do like sniping in this game. If you get a headshot, most of the time it'll kill the enemy outright. Boar, or alien boar, whatever you are, get the hell out of my way. Now this game is made by Tryon. They make Rift. For those that don't know. Now. This game does have something similar to Rifts from the Rift game. But first, you can melee in this game. There we go. So I just completed this little mission. But yeah, it does have Rifts, so if I open up my map, you'll see this red dot here. I could go around to it. My thoughts on the Rifts so far in this game are called Arc Falls. I don't know, kind of. I'm not not really happy with them. See, my problem is, I'm trying to find content in this game to do. Now, oh, in fact, no, let me rephrase that, because there's a lot of things I want to go over in this game. I'm just suck, sucking real hard at the moment at trying to organise it. The game is no subscription, so once you buy it, it's free after that, like Guild Wars. So that's good. There is a, a store in a game where you can buy outfits and uh, cosmetic stuff and some XP boosts and all that good stuff. Now, okay, there's that. So, basically, once you get the game, it's free after that. That's good. And what can you do in this game? Well, you've got the, the PvE content, which is the episodic missions that tie into the TV series where things will change depending on what happens in a TV series, what happens in game and so on. Then you've got your side missions, which are just little missions you can go do and 
expand the story, make you explore areas. You do have a main sort of storyline in game, which is what goes on in the world, which is nothing to do with the TV series, as far as I'm aware. It does cross over now and again, but not that much. Then you have your arc falls where you can go and um, you can go and fight with a bunch of people, like a public quest in Guild Wars, except it's I don't know, I don't I don't really like it to be honest because they seem very grindy. I what I mean by grindy is just that you can have like I believe it scales depending on how many people are there, but if you have a lot of mobs there, they take a lot to kill. And it gets to the point where it's just not fun because you're sitting there and you're like, man, is this is this thing gonna die yet? And ten, fifteen minutes go by bar slowly going down as everyone chips away at its health and it's I suppose it's like raiding and wow or something but at least that has phases and whatnot this doesn't seem to have that all the phases in this game are pretty weak and then I don't know if there's dungeons in this game I've heard someone mention they've done a dungeon or so but I don't know how true that is so there's possible, potentially, dungeons in this game. I have only played this game on the weekend, so I don't really know everything about it. This is just a quick video. And then, as far as I can tell, that's it for PvE content. Which is kind of a shame. The, the level range in this game is done by your ego rating, which you can see down here. My ego rating is 202. And if I open up my menu got your ego grid here, this is where you assign your skills, there's no classes in this game, you've just got this grid where you can pick and choose your skills on what you want, which is kind of nice. So that is a that is a plus at least. But that goes up to 5000 at the moment. Apparently when they come out with the next season, because it's done in seasons, I'm assuming this means seasons is in the TV show, season 1 this basically gives you access to all this, which is kind of like an achievements achievement page. Again, not a very good one because if you ever close out of this to check something in game, you come back, you're gonna have to reopen it all. But um, you know, exploration here. The cool thing is though is that when you do finish a sort of section, you will be rewarded with an outfit or a helmet or some type of equipment. Like here, I'll get the intelligence scout helmet which is cool and one of the cool things is there's one for vehicles as well and you, you've got your licenses here which are the different types of vehicles you run a license which is your ATV uh, your quad bike type thing and then you've got your roller license which is like a, a dune buggy type vehicle you got your Cerberus license which is a sort of free man vehicle with weapons attached to it for PvP and I believe I might have messed up. I believe the roller is not just the dune buggy type thing, but it's also the car because there's like a bunch of dodges in this game. And uh, if we look here, you don't have the sort of things to do for this section. And I've been going through these because you get a nice reward. Basically, there's time trials and there's other things like go do a, a 360 off a cliff and drive 10,000. Uh, 100,000 meters and so on and um, I've done all that I've just got to finish up these last things but it requires me to go continue on with the storyline which I haven't done yet but what I'll unlock is this black dodge challenger which is pretty nice so but yeah that's what I'm working towards so doing that is kind of cool because you get a reward at the end of it which is like a sense of accomplishment which is pretty nice and uh, yeah there's a bunch of other stuff in here now, uh, driving in this game is fun. Everyone's been saying that driving is fun. I agree with that. It is pretty cool. And again, I'm pretty amazed at how smooth it is. Like the combat, I mean, there's... I haven't experienced... Personally, I haven't experienced any lag. And, um... You can run over things like that. The more you use the vehicles, you know, you'll get more skill in them, they'll get faster, you'll do more damage when running stuff, and so on. Okay, so I can jump off that. Now what we're doing here, this is one of the arc falls, and this is just a small one. Now this might go quick because there's only a few people here, but when you get into the big ones, which are like on the map, we'll look around.
tank had that big aerial one there. There's going to be a lot of people there. That will take like half an hour or more to take this down. This is going pretty quick. Basically this is the same as the rift. You need to destroy the crystals when they pop up or depending on what, what kind of one or what you're doing because you have your raiders and mutants and so on. This is going in quick. I believe I do get a, a little reward for finishing this. So these bugs aren't too bad, and they deal with the weak spots, so if you hit them in the right spot, you do more damage. But this isn't my problem. My problem's on the big ones, but I suppose it's meant to take a lot longer, but it's just not fun to me. I mean, everyone's there. I suppose it's like raiding in WoW. I've said this before. It takes ages in WoW to do the uh, big bosses. I suppose it's meant to be like that, but... I honestly don't know, I'm sort of... I can't make it to mind, because Guild Wars 2 has it, kind of, but those events go a lot quicker. I feel like that's a right balance of time, whereas these just take too long. And after a while you get bored. So all, all you end up doing is running around, kiting everything, because everything's too stupid to actually catch you up. And then every time a weak spot pops up on the crystal, you'll shoot it and eventually it'll be destroyed. And that's it, everyone goes in separate ways. I mean, that's it really. I did prefer Rift in the sense where when the Rift started, if left unchecked, they'll spread. And then when you looked on the map, just the map's completely taken over by the undead or whatever. That was pretty kick ass. That was one of my favourite PvE features I've seen in the game. This game doesn't really capture that, so. Kind of disappointed. Die. Oh, die. So he's burrowing down. Jump up, kick my ass, so he gets a chance to. Is that crystal dead yet? Just do it the hard way. There we go. Okay, so that was a mini minor artful taken care of and there's a bunch of loot around. Here we go. Reward 500 XP and then 180 script. Script is your currency in the game. But yeah, I mean to me that wasn't very exciting. I could just be because I played the game non-stop over the weekend, mostly trying to get that time trial stuff done for the vehicle. I probably burnt myself out a little bit but then again I've only played on the weekend. So that isn't very long at all. I mean, in fact, let's just go down here. There's another big uh, arc fall. I can show you what I mean. But like, uh, this is what worries me about the game. Is that I don't know what's going to keep me occupied in it. There doesn't seem to be much. I imagine it's going to rely a lot on the uh, the TV series, but I'm worried. But one thing it does have going for it is that it's made by Tryon World. Now. They've done an amazing job with Rift since it launched. They've added a whole bunch of content. In fact, they've added more content post-launch to that game than I've seen than any other game, with the exception of WoW. They've fixed a lot of issues. They've added in things players wanted. They're still updating it now. I mean, they're doing a fantastic job. They've got player housing in there, last I checked. The they just keep expanding, which is great. That's what they. Sh that's what all MMO developers should be doing when they release an MMO. But uh, I'm hoping that this game will be addressed a little bit. But then again, it's free to play once you buy, and uh, that's good because it means like Guild Wars 2, you can just hop back on it whenever you're bored. The combat is fun to run around and shoot stuff, especially if you get into like a little area where there's a bunch of mutants or raiders. Speaking of, before I get caught by this raider, I wonder, can I get my... Let me show you guys the shotgun. Kind of a little weapon I like is the shotgun here. Fortunately I can't steal this vehicle from the mountain gun. Oh. 
Yeah, it's kind of useless at a range. You have to be right up close, but I did pick up cloaking ability like most of the people. So, uh, they can see me. Uh, they're shooting where I was, which is pretty cool. There we go. Raising a bit of uh, havoc in this area. But yeah, combat is tight. I keep saying that, but it is. It's it's the best feature of the game. That and driving, because driving is just so much fun. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go check out this major art fall so I can show you guys what I was talking about. I will release more videos on this game. I want to show you the PvP and whatnot, and I'll probably do a few guides. This is a couple of things that were tripping me up until I figured them out. But, um, yeah. I don't know if you should buy it or not. I'm having fun the moments I'm on. And it might pick up once the TV series is out, but... To be honest, well, there's, there's one of the crystals that be destroyed, but to be honest, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean... How long do I consider myself playing this for? Well, I have a feeling once I get through most of the storyline, I'm probably going to be bored of the game. I mean, the PvP is kind of fun. The Shadow War is a cool concept, but it literally just is a bigger back, uh, just a big battleground. So, to say it's open world PvP, it's not. It takes 45 versus 45 people, and pops up various objectives on the map. Like this whole map, it will take basically take an area this size of this red circle and you'll be fighting over it now that's not open world pvp open world pvp is enabling yourself to go combatants and fighting anyone else anywhere on the map you can roll around with your friends and gang i know it's not fun but that is what open pvp isn't is this isn't it just puts you into a little circle and you can go fight there so don't be drawn in by the whole we've got this new and exciting PvP thing. It is fun a little bit, I guess. But, I don't know. Again, like the rest of this game, I'm undecided on everything. But, uh, yeah. That's it from my quick video. It, again, I was probably all over the place with this. Uh, it's hard to get my thoughts straight on this game. I don't know if I like it or if I hate it or am I in denial on spending money on it. I don't know. But, uh, the combat's fun, and if you do like this third-person action, then definitely check it out. Again, keep in mind, Trial made it. They're a bunch of good guys. They seem pretty passionate with their games. Rift has had a lot of treatment since it launched. I'm hoping that's going to be the same for this game. So there you go. And maybe if you just wanted the MMO on the console, this would be enough for you, perhaps. It could just be I'm spoilt from all the other... PC MMOs that have come out with all their content they have, so, I mean, you know, you get standards as time goes on. Anyway, that's it for now. Expect more Defiance videos coming out. I'll be doing a PvP one soon, so you can see what that's all about. I did want to show you this major arc fall, but there's not really any players about at the moment, so kind of hard to show you that. But I will get some footage of one when it's a bit more populated. Anyway, if anyone wants to friend me on here, I am Paula on both the European and the North American servers. Except I'm mostly playing on North American at the moment, so that's where you'll find me if you want to play. Anyway, thank you for watching.